When you call 911, you expect help to show up, right? Yeah, you don't expect to keep calling over and over again. And for one man in Irving, that help came far too late. Here's Alex Rozier. Not making any excuses for what we did and not trying to cover it up. We could do better. Irving Police Chief Jeff Spivey offered the most sincere apology. I feel horrible. But even the chief knows an apology will not change what happened to Louis Bradley. 99.9% .9 of the time we do do better. Uh, this time we didn't. He kept us all together. Louis lived a very private life. His friends have only two photos of this gentleman who stayed in Unit 131 at the Park Manor Apartments. He would come and have coffee with us all the time. Wendy Greenleaf was his neighbor. He was my family here. And she was here on July 11th when he needed help. Serving 911, where's your emergency? You can't get this off your mind. No, I can't get Louie off my mind. Hi, uh, this is Rose, and I'm at the Park Manor Apartments in Irving. That night, Rose Rodriguez called 911 after Louie hit his emergency button in the bathroom. He fell in the shower, but the deadbolt on his door kept neighbors from getting in. He was very loud, and I heard him say, help me, help me. I said, I'm getting you help. He's at 131. That was 844 p.m. Okay, they'll be there to check it out as soon as they can. But as time passed, police never showed, so Rose called back. This is at the Park Manor Apartments, but I haven't seen a police or ambulance or anybody show up yet. I could still hear him yelling, and I said, don't worry, we're getting you someone, relax. And I heard him say thank you. 131 in Building 30, their emergency pull cord is closing. It's it's on. Okay, we've already been out there to check it out and everything's okay. It's been 26 minutes. I called my maintenance man back and he says that the emergency pull cord is still buzzing. No one has been there yet. Irving 911, this is Brittany, where is the emergency? This is Rose Rodriguez um, calling for the third time. We haven't gotten a uh, police or ambulance over to the Park Manor apartment. I knocked on the window. I said, someone's on the way. And I heard a little beep of a voice. I'm really concerned now because he's not even answering. I felt bad and at that point I walked to the, um, excuse me, to the lobby where everyone was at and I told my husband, baby, I think he's dead. July 11th, 9.36 p.m. 52 minutes after the first 911 call, out of desperation, they came up with a new plan. At that point, Larry called into 911. Uh, 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 it's had a fire. Uh, what kind of alarm is it? Uh, uh, alarm in the hall. Is the fire alarm? No. Is it a smoke yeah. alarm? Yeah. Well, when I turned and I saw him call, I said, he's got it wrong. It's not a fire. Then I thought to myself, good. Maybe someone will come. And they did. They did two seconds later. It took six 911 calls, six. Help arrived nearly an hour after the call started. And when they stepped out, they passed through and I asked, how is he? One of them looked down at me and said, not good. And I, I just, what I felt was true. He wasn't alive. We started looking into it that day. Chief Spivey said minutes after the first 911 call, Irving police officers did respond to Unit 131 at the Park Manor Apartments. But here's the problem. It, it was a true case of miscommunication. There are two buildings here. Our call taker took the call, entered the location by name instead of by address. And when that name populated, it populated with the address of 2934, apartment number 131, where Mr. Bradley actually lived was 2930, apartment number 131. Bottom line in the simplest of terms, you went to the wrong address. We did. It was a true case of miscommunication, and uh, you know it led to this this tragic outcome. He, he died oh, in an awful way. For the people of Park Manor, the pain from this final fall will last a long while. They should have been here on the first call. But now they need no help remembering Louis Bradley. Okay, they'll be there to check it out as soon as they can. Everyone agrees. He deserved better. And I'm truly sorry for that.
It is important to note when the chief learned of Louis's passing, he launched an internal investigation. Yeah, we heard him take full responsibility. We know all the people involved have been disciplined. And if you want to hear more about the changes the police chief made in that department, just open this story on WFAA.com.